Welcome to another episode of Daily Hope. Today we are in Luke chapter uh, 23, and um, today we're going to talk about, oh man, we're going to keep talking about forgiveness, and it's, hmm, well, we'll talk about it, okay? It's, it's where, you know, I feel like the Holy Spirit's leading us for today, so uh, before we get started, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we post a new video. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you will speak to us today through your Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that we, we have open ears and open hearts to receive, God, what you have for us this day. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. So, Luke chapter 23, um, this is, this is Jesus' crucifixion. And so much happens here, and I was reading it, I was thinking, okay, Lord, what, what, what are you talking about today? And this is what, this, this is, I'm just, I'm just sharing you what my takeaway was. And this is an encouragement to me, because it's, it's, um, if you remember a few, uh, a few Daily Hopes ago, we were talking about how it is, how forgiveness is our duty. Like, it's not optional. As Jesus has forgiven us, and as he, and, and, and here's the thing about, because the way we forgive, and the way Jesus forgives is completely different. Everyone say different. And here's why it's different, because a Jesus kind of forgiveness is, the, is, is, a, is a type of forgiveness that restores. That's the kind of forgiveness that Jesus offers. Does that make sense? No, just because... Just because Jesus forgives us doesn't mean, doesn't mean that we're restored. And this is why, because there's a lot of people out there that Jesus died for, and they're not acknowledging Jesus. They're not confessing Jesus as Lord, as Lord and Savior. They're not restored. They're still fallen. They're still away from the Lord. But for us who know Jesus, who love Jesus, who have communion and relationship with Jesus, his forgiveness is a kind of forgiveness that restores and and this is why because that kind of we receive that kind of forgiveness through repentance where we say lord jesus i'm sorry for what i did i'm not going to do it again i don't want to do it again not i'm sorry i got caught or oh i'm sorry i got in trouble or oh, i'm sorry that someone got mad at me because i did this no 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 it's lord i messed up and in my own power i can't be clean so lord i I need your help. I need your spirit. I need your direction. I I I I need your 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 power, your grace, and your mercy. See that kind of that that kind of repentance is 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 the kind of repentance where Jesus says, "I for, I I forgive you. I died for you. I died for you, and I died for this moment, so that we can be restored." That's the kind of forgiveness. So. <clears throat> So a few daily hopes ago, when we we're talking about forgiveness and how the apostles were like Jesus, increase our faith because seven times seven or seven times in a day, if he comes, if my brother comes to me and 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 repents, I must forgive him. This is the kind of forgiveness that Jesus talks about is a is the type of forgiveness that restores. And I know that's kind of that that's really hard to to kind of think about and comprehend, but we actually see this right here. It says right here. Um, Luke chapter 23, verse 32, there were also two others criminals led with him to be put to death. So Jesus being led to his crucifixion. Verse 33, and when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they do. <clears throat> see we 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 live we live and please I, I hope you guys don't misunderstand me you know by all means in any situation stay safe stay protected um and you know and and don't and and, and always walk in wisdom okay i just want to say that first but jesus is forgiving is saying is is asking father forgive them for they do not know what they do in other words don't put this on them they don't know what they're doing these people listen to me church these people are not sorry they're not sorry 
As a matter of fact, he's about to die in just a few verses or in a little while in, in real time. They are not sorry. They are going through with this and they're watching him hang bloody, beaten, ashamed, naked on the cross. And Jesus, literally, I mean, he's hanging there, he's naked, his part of his beard dripped off, there's a crown of thorns on his head. And, and he's not thinking about himself in that moment. He's saying, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Look at how powerful this is that in Jesus is probably Jesus's most vulnerable moment ever. He's not trying to protect himself. He's not trying to preserve himself. He's saying, Lord, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. The people who are hurting Jesus and they're not sorry. Jesus is saying, Father, forgive them. Now, I'm not saying that if someone hurts you, forgive them and 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 you know and let them hurt you again. That's not what I'm saying because yeah, just don't don't get me twisted on that. But forgiveness, but forgiveness is very much about the heart. You know, it, it is a heart of restoration. And really, what forgiveness does is what what forgiveness does. Like if someone offends you, forgiveness restores your heart. Now, in many cases, forgiveness is supposed to restore relationship in, 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 in proper context, you know? For example, like if I offend my wife and I ask for forgiveness, that forgiveness is a kind of forgiveness. It can't be a conditional forgiveness of I'm going to forgive you until or I'm going to forgive you only if, you know, forgiveness is very much like love where it needs to be unconditional or else it's not forgiveness. It's it, you're, you're still holding it over their head or you're still counting it against them you're still keeping record of wrong right so in in, in a marriage or in, in in other relationship forgiveness is supposed to be is supposed to restore re forgiveness is supposed to restore relationship now if there's toxic people in your life then forgiveness is still mandatory but friendship is not okay forgiveness is still mandatory but friendship is not and and the reason i say is because if they're not aligned with jesus if they're not walking in the ways of jesus uh, no i'm not saying they have to be perfect because we're not perfect but you know what i'm saying that if they're causing you to stumble if they're causing you to sin if if if, if they're hurting you evaluate is this a relationship that might that the lord wants me to have but and and that's and that's a in general, but with, with your parents, with your friends, especially with your spouse, forgiveness is supposed to be, it's supposed to restore relationship. This is why, this is why, um, this is why we're not supposed to count records of wrong because counting, when, when you start to count faults, then all of a sudden there's a score and now you can't see this person without seeing them through the lens of how much they've hurt you. And that is detrimental to you. That 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 is um that's hurtful for your heart that's hurtful for them that's hurtful for relationship amen and jesus doesn't do this to us when when when, when he he says as far as the east is from the west I, I i've i've forgotten i've i've um i've I, I don't remember what you did that's the kind of forgiveness that jesus offers so that relationship is restored amen and so it's still forgiveness. Forgiveness is still our duty. It's still not optional. Why? Because Jesus in this moment forgives us. Well, we weren't there. Yeah, but there's been times where we've probably hurt Jesus with our words, with our actions, with, with the intent of our heart. There's probably times where we've hurt the heart of God. Yes, we can hurt the heart of God. We're in relationship the same way that people can hurt us. We can hurt God by being disobedient, by being et cetera, et cetera. Amen. So, um, so yeah, so forgiveness is not optional. Relationship, I'm sorry, friendship and relationships, those may be optional unless you're married and unless they're your parents, then all, all I'm saying is please, 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 please act in wisdom, get godly counsel on whatever relationships you're in. If you're in a relationship that hurts, but, 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 but forgiveness is not optional. And if it's a friendship or 
whatever it is, you know, make sure you talk to pastors, make sure you get some good people around you who love Jesus, who will pull with you, not pull against you. Amen. Who have the wisdom of God in them. Amen. So anyways, I'm going to end it right there. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Woo, help us, Lord, to forgive. Even when people aren't sorry, Lord, help us to help us with your strength, with, you, with your grace to forgive, Lord. Because really, when people hurt us, they really don't know what they're doing. We praise you and we love you in the name of Jesus. We pray, amen and amen. That concludes today's Daily Hope. In the description box, there's a link if you guys want to give and become monthly supporters of Daily Hope. Thank you guys so much for your generosity. Also, our reading plan is there so you can follow along as we finish up. Um, as we finish up, we have... Um, Ooh, tomorrow's the last chapter of Luke. So tomorrow we're, we'll, we'll be finishing Luke. So make sure you get a reading plan so you can follow along to see where we're going next. And then lastly, um, I want to know what was your takeaway? What did you get out of this chapter? Or what did the Holy Spirit speak to you? Put that in the comment section because I love reading those. Those really do minister to me. Amen. And then at Hope Community, people are our heart. Generosity is our opportunity. Excellence is our spirit. Smiling is our favorite. And Jesus is our Lord. We'll see you tomorrow for the last chapter of Luke, which is 24.